let's have a look at some interesting facts about the Olympic Games that you probably did not know. One astonishing fact in the history of Olympic Games is that disabled athletes participated in the main Olympic Games before the Paralympic Games were introduced in 1960. Yes, you heard me right. Disabled competing against the abled. Now, among the most inspiring of such disabled athletes was American George Iser, who was the first person with a prosthetic leg to compete at the Olympic Games. Aiza had lost most of his leg in an accident in his childhood and he took part in the gymnastics at the 1904 St. Louis Olympics wearing a wooden prosthetic leg and actually won three gold medals in the space of a single day. He won three more medals to end his tally at six. Now this is indeed a superman. He is a disabled man who is a superman in the land of the able. That's awesome. Now, currently, 68 out of the 206 Olympic competitors are yet to win a single medal. Just a single one. And this single disabled man has more gold medals than 137 countries have won in all their Olympic Games participation. <laughs> and he did this in a space of a day. <laughs> I would love to see what his descendants are doing in current Olympic Games. The only time in the history of the Olympic Games where live animals were killed for sports was in 1900. Do you remember this game? If you were born after the year 2000, you probably don't know about this game. It's called the Dark Hand, and the Olympic Games was exactly like this, except this time, live pigeons were being shot. With the winner of the event shooting 21 out of 300 bets. I wonder where they damned the remains. If this sport had continued, who knows, they could be killing live lions in the Olympics by now. And the first time a medal for one position was shared between athletes was in 1936. Two Japanese were tied for second place in the pole vault and opted to share one half of the silver and bronze medals and they did this in a very crazy way. They actually cut the medals in half and fused one half of the silver with that of the bronze. So what was something like that before? Brother? Thrones? Anyway, so the sharing of the gold medals in the high jump in the just ended Olympic Games wasn't actually the first time something like that had happened. The Olympic Games features a whole variety of games and there are a lot of games we watch and wonder who brought them into the Olympics in the first place. And some of these games will blow your mind. Games like standing high jump and underwater swimming contests were also part of the 1900 Olympics. And you just wonder. Now just imagine how difficult high jump is, even when you are running, <laughs> to come to think of standing. Now how is it supposed to be done? And to think of underwater swimming contest, let me see. So meaning there should be cameras and all that under the water to monitor every aspect of the event? Yeah. Well, I wish there was a video coverage of some of these events for us to see. After the first women participation in the Olympic Games in 1900, it was only in the 2012 London Olympics. 112 years after that, where every participating nation had women athletes in their contingent. Wow. That is how long it took for all the nations to finally accept that women could also be part of the games. This woman, Judoka Wajdan, 
Shahekani of Saudi Arabia became the first woman from her country to participate in Olympics that year. Saudi Arabia has very strict dress codes when it comes to women and as you can see from the picture, she participated in judo and it is very clear she was allowed to do so because they put on a tie that covers most of their body. <laughs> or maybe she was made to participate because her first name, Judoka, rhymes with the sport, Judo. <laughs> now to everyone's amazement, women broke more records than men in the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. A total of 56 new records were set in the women's category, as against 53 new records in the men's category. That is outstanding. Now is that another way of saying what men can do, women can do even better. The 2020 Tokyo Olympics was definitely for the women.